apologies. I was, uh, I've been traveling, get a good Wi-Fi connection. It seems like everything is closed everywhere. So it's, it's trying to hang out here in my hotel room. But the Abdul building, we got an interesting project here. Um, 100 year old building located in downtown El Paso, originally designed by Henry Trost. It was designed to be a bank building and you know, situated in downtown, a, a block away from the, uh, the central plaza over there. Um, some of uh, you guys have seen in, in the images we've shown of El Paso, some of Henry Trost's great work down there. This building was pretty interesting because it was converted from a bank and office building to a residential building and then back to a commercial building and then back to a residential. And so the way that it worked was currently they have the first and second floor occupied as, as commercial and retail and then the upper floor as uh, floors uh, three, four, five, six, and seven is residential. The building being this kind of tight, narrow, tall building, concrete floors, concrete columns, concrete walls, concrete everything made it kind of difficult to retrofit as an apartment. So, you know, we had all kinds of problems looking in the building. It had a couple of bad uh, property owners before that didn't really give it the love and attention that it needed. I mean, it was in it was in some pretty terrible shape, you know, but they did a good job not adding or taking away from it, which is usually the problem when we do preservation work is somebody's come in there and cut off a cornice, done whatever. Here's a great picture of, um, Trost and the team weight loading, weight testing the floors with uh, their crew and it held up. And sadly, we weren't able to restore some of, you can see some of that uh, board work concrete up in the ceiling and around the sides. I mean, the years and years of paint and neglect and hanging of conduit. And here's some of the pictures of the building as we got it. And you could see it, you know, it was just really falling apart had this beautiful cornice detail up top that was well lit conduit runs throughout um you could just see some of the damage the woodwork they just so, so much work that had to be done um we had you know for a project like this the amount of work that we had um from our structural engineer to give us details on how to restore the concrete and the, the building owners on this project were pursuing the historic tax credits, which are also challenging because now you have a roadmap of what you need to do, and then you have to have an audit and supervision of it. But here's some of the pictures. You could just see some of the horrible state that the building was in. You know, the electrical, full mechanical, plumbing was all You mentioned mess. Um, a structural engineer, but he never paid him. Oh, man, really? <laughs> that's, that's, that's our boy, Eddie Castle. <laughs> Go ahead and send that invoice, Eddie. Yeah. Actually, send it to Chris Esper, yeah. please. Yeah. Here's some of, go, here's some of the uh, here's some of the uh, here's some of the uh, exterior photos coming from the sky down, and you know our team did a very very good job of coming through and restoring this building. You can see, you know, it's it's, it's on one of the nicer streets in and around El Paso, and um, lots of tree lined. Uh, Tree line street right there, and so the work the work that we had seen um, on restoring you can see you can see that you know they brought the cornice back to life. Uh, they did a pretty substantial job at um, restoring the window facades. I mean the opening. I think a big challenge for the project, and I I recall this specifically was the detailing. Right, so it comes together as a as a series of you know re re. Uh, you know, essentially addressing all the details that over time wore down. So we saw it in its crumbled state and now all the, you know, original trost lines of the elevation are lined up. Uh, we, you know, we clad it in light. Uh, so it becomes this beacon, you know, as it were downtown. Um, and we, you know, in, in the sense, the historic tax credits, I recall, were based on exactly picking up on these historic details of the building. So from the cornice all the way to the inside of the building, the penny tiles that are here, the, uh, the balustrade, uh, the parts that couldn't be re-salvaged were just plastered over, but there was a lot of care and focus from the owners and the architects and the engineers uh, spent on uh, making sure the flooring was intact. Uh, some of the ideas of the original painting and the, and the branding and the, the fluted glass that you see here are still very much intact and original. So I think it's, 
it's really a hallmark to where it was possible, you know, the care and the effort and the, and the money and the attention was spent on those. And then everything else was really, you know, uh, you know, smoothed over in a way and brought to this, this beautiful contemporary level where, um, and even in reference to the previous presentations, you know, we're, we're bringing this 21st century approach uh, to what we, you know, what we could while leaving the historic or the standard and the quality of what was historic there. Um, and, uh, you know, ultimately the building's function was a bank. So, you know, from bank to a residence, it, it, it leaves these quite interesting uh, conflicting moments, right? And then you see new, te new technology, new building systems come in, whether it be ductwork, whether it be uh, um, conduit, uh, new types of materials. Uh, so they come into the building, live on site, you know, the historic texture and the historic nature of the building uh, there. But uh, ultimately, it is a model for residential living downtown where there really hasn't been anything in the, in the, in the, in the past few decades. Uh, so, you know, keeping this old, uh, completely different function of the building as a bank or as a, as a secondary type of mercantile use, uh, from the painted images you see here, bringing that into uh, the residential uh, nature of the building, I think are two uh, complementary in a way and interesting, uh, you know, approaches to the building. So uh, hope hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did trying to wing it for Red Hat. <laughs> <laughs>